But it's great to be here. It's great to feel what I felt in the prayer room before service. Amen. And uh, I happen to notice whenever I uh, travel and I go to different churches, and it's it means a lot and it matters in a church when there are men leading their families in prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Right. There, there, there's, there's, there's nothing like a family uniting in prayer and uh, praying for common cause. Right. I've been studying the book of Numbers, and we find the book of Numbers, that the book of Numbers is one of those books that many times everyone's begatting everyone, someone else, and sometimes your eyes glaze over, you're not too sure what's happening. But the book of Numbers is very unique, and it has something to say to men. Yeah. There are 36 chapters in the book of Numbers. And it's split up into two parts. Chapters 1 through 26 is a God takes a roll call, you could say. He numbers the people. Thus, the book is called Numbers. And chapters 1 through 26, God takes a roll call. And he numbers the children of Israel in the generation leaving the Exodus. <laughs> Okay, but you see this first generation, they fall, they fall till they spend 40 years in the wilderness. And then so God from chapter 26 to 36, he takes a second roll call of the second generation. And thus there are a bunch of numbers. This person begat that person. And this person begat that person. Of the tribe, there are 40,000 here. There are 20,000 here. And what's unique about that is what God could not accomplish to the first generation that of Moses he did to the second generation, that of Joshua. But what's unique among the things that the book of Numbers numbers of all the people, of all the vessels, of all the of all the uh, of all of all the families, of all every tribe, of the things he numbers, he numbers the men that are able to make war. Yes. He looks at among his people and he says, Moses, take a record, take out a sheet of paper, a parchment, and write down every name of every man 20 years or older that is able to make war. Yeah. And what's unique about this is who God did not number. He did not number the men who were not in the midst of the battle making war. War, those who are not fighting for something, those who are not standing for something, do not make it in God's making book. But all the men who are standing, who are fighting, who are, who are going after the enemy and able to stand and able to fight, said, write their name down. I want a record of those men. And I don't know about you, but in 2014, I want to be a man. of Israel, they seek out the promised land and, and they come back and they, I don't think we can do it, don't think we can take the promised land. These same men begin to murmur. And then so God says, count out every man 20 years or older that are murmuring. The men who should have been fighting starting to murmur and they led all of the people into 40 years of wilderness. And I don't want to lead my family, my church, the people of God into a time of wilderness. I will not murmur. 